Hi guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Renina, starting episode 19. It's the morning of January the 31st, 5 a.m. We just woke up and it's snowing. Today we were planning to go on our trip to West Point. I was planning to set out and I did check the radio yesterday and found that it sounds like this weather system, which we just had over the last couple of days, we had a bit of rain, a bit of snow, is clearing up today. So let's just confirm that. Let's eat a little breakfast and confirm that. I am pretty much ready to go. Um, provided we get a decent weather report, I think we will go. I'm a little concerned about going in, in really bad weather uh, because we're, you know, it's uncharted territory. And also we're, um, we're, we're trying to follow roads that are going to be tricky to follow. So, you know, back roads basically. So I, they'll kind of disappear in the snow. So I, I do want to at least have some, here the road's not completely covered. So that should be enough for us to travel. But if it gets a full coverage, we could have a problem. Uh, in the meantime, um, I've got our bags packed. So we have um, one bag, the green bag has the weapons. It's got double bear shotgun, shotgun shells, all the shotgun shells we have, and a whole bunch of 38 rounds. Um, we have our 38 revolver, and we're gonna put that on our belt in our holster. And we got our screwdriver, let's put that in our belt, put the ham in our belt, we've got the curl bar on our back, and um, we are going to go get changed, I guess. We'll wait for the weather report, but let's go get changed into our combat gear, which is here. Now, actually, I can't quite hear that, can I? Let's turn that up so we can hear it in the other room. And I got to remember that the um, weather station is 103.6. That's important. I'm going to have to dial that into the car radio. Hopefully, we can hear that in the other room. Okay, there. I can still hear it. That's good. Let's get changed. So what we're going to wear is a, de a denim shirt. And we're going to wear long johns, a long sleeve t-shirt. I don't know if the layering of this matters. I think it doesn't, but we'll dump the long dress, put a leather jacket over top. Okay, there comes our, our report. Uh, t okay, so let's look at the report. Today, it is clear skies, periodic cloudy sp spells. That's good. And yeah, weather predicted to end early morning. Showers and heavy rain, chance of snowfall. So that's early morning. That should end soon. Okay, blizzard in five days. Um, that's okay though. I think that gives us a window. Yeah, five days is plenty. So we should have five days to at least get set up and, and wait out the blizzard. So I'm gonna go with that. I mean, I think that's as good as you can get in February, you know, uh, and we'll put the jeans on. We'll take a look at what we're wearing now. So we're, we're dumping the firefighter jacket. I, the firefighter jacket's good, but I couldn't upgrade it with, um, with all the uh, padding. I did leather padding on all this. We'll take a quick look at, at what my loadout is. So this is her inner fighting order. Uh, we've got pretty good protection, guys, if you look at it. And with we have some gaps in the hands, the neck, and the shins, unfortunately. But, you know, everywhere else is really solid. The only thing is that it's a bit of a warm outfit. But, again, we're going in, the, you know, in February. So I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, we should be all right. And uh, I think it's light enough that we can actually, um, you know, rock and roll with this. So let's take a look at the other stuff. We've got, yeah, that's the weapon bag. The, the blue bag is our equipment bag. I don't know what that mushroom soup's doing in there. Take that out. Uh, we've got, yeah, fishing. You know, I, I brought the kitchen sink, fishing gear, a jack, everything to change the car, propane torch in case you have to rip stuff down, a sheet rope. You know, the fishing gear is probably overkill, but we're all on the river. So if we run out of, um, food, we could theoretically do something with that. One thing I'm just wondering about right now is if I brought a frying pan, but I'm sure we'll find one along the way um, in case you have to cook fish. I think you can just put it straight into a fire though and cook it in the fire. I don't know if you actually have to put it in something. I've never tried that, but anyway, that's our, that's that kit. And this is our food kit. Let's drop the, uh, the mushroom soup in there. And I think what I'll do is I'll take an extra, oh, let's get our backpack on. And we've got a med kit too we're gonna bring. Okay, and in the backpack, what do I have? Coffee, you know, a bit of med supplies, a bowl, the West Point map for when we get there. The West Point map is kind of our, you know, I never installed the Knox County map mod, unfortunately. So we, I'm having to use it kind of offline. I have it open on the other screen, but this West Point map we're kind of pretending is our, our Knox County map. Let's take um, a cupcake. And I made sure that we have a fair bit of um, extra weight. We're 84 kilos and gaining. So that's, we're heavy already, which is good. Um, so anyway, we can shut this off. We're done with this. 
and let's go load the truck. Okay guys, so I decided last minute to take that frying pan, just in case. Yeah, lastly guys, it occurred to me I need to bring a trowel. So there we are guys, the truck's loaded up. It's basically full, which is not a great situation going that we're trying to loot, but we do have a spare tire, which you know I could always dump. We've got a couple of logs in case we have to start a fire, but together those are really heavy. We could also dump the gas. Uh, you know, and we plan to use the gas and there's also the tent kit, which is disposable. So, um, it's just there for an emergency if we need it, but all that stuff can be dumped. I'm also planning on picking up a trailer on the way back. So guys, it's 9 AM and I think maybe we're going to start getting ready to say goodbye to the police station here. Um, let's check the generator. I'm going to leave a generator on even though, um, you know, in theory it would run out of gas, but I know that once we get past a certain distance from... Riverside, it's not going to um, be simulated anymore, so we don't have to worry about that, which is a bit of a cheat. We should come back with everything all rotten and everything, but anyhow, that's fine. Let's um, use that little tiny cheat to our advantage, I guess. And yeah, close the place up. Let's load up on water, fill up our water bottle, take a drink. We're taking that woolly hat. I us put that in my backpack. That's definitely extra. And I suppose I should take a bag of chips for the road. Um, oh, I took a cupcake. Never mind. Did I? Oh, I lost that. Lost track of that. Oh, it's in my backpack. Okay, great. Cupcake for the road. Let's take that out. Um, definitely gonna want that. But yeah, we've got you know an extra fat store, so we're good. And and yeah, guys, there it is. So let's go light it up and head out on our way. Okay guys, so let's take a minute to look over the map and plan our trip here. Uh, we're starting at the police station, which is here. Home. And we're going to the gun store in West Point, which is about here. It's the gun store. Yeah, the way I've been thinking of traveling there is to go um, this way, down through the back roads, because I want to avoid the main highway, which I think is likely going to be full of zombies. Um, or at least have major clusters of zombies. Now here we could go either south or we could go north. I believe there's some houses in here which looks pretty remote. So that actually might be a nice little base of ops. The thing is that West Point's going to be absolutely just seething with zombies. And we're not going to be able to just barge into the gun store and kick the door in. We're going to have to approach this strategically and sort of possibly cut our way in. And I, I see us doing probably multiple burns potentially. So. I think that being said, I have driven this road before and I know that it's very, very dense with zombies. So, you know, finding a, a quiet place to sleep is unlikely. I think our best bet is to go up this way and try to take over these farms, go around this way and try to try to take this as a base. And um, possibly then, yeah, work our way in this way and probably try to clear the west side of town. But once we get in, we'll try to work our way and clear a path to the gun store. Alternatively, just blaze through and then draw the zombies east towards this area, which is a good burn area, particularly this spot right here is excellent. Um, but everything back even in here is good. And you can do burns up here too. So that those are all options for burns for us. Um, in terms of this is a multi-day thing, I, we're gonna have to take it slow and kind of clear a path. So we might sleep here, we might sleep here. And this is a bit of a stretch, so we may end up doing a, a sleep in the woods potentially, depending on how things go. So I'm hoping that this is a very quiet route. So anyway, that's the plan that we're going to start with. And uh, yeah, you know that no, no plan survives first contact with the enemy, but this is what we're going in with for now. So this truck is full. Uh, is that full? I'm going to say that's not quite full. Let's go fill it right up. Okay, oh yeah, I was pretty much full, okay. I did um, replace the gas tank in this truck with a large gas tank, so good. And we're passing that trusty vehicle that brought us, that brought Crystal all the way from uh, Ekron. Let's hit the road. Yeah, we can still see the ground, so that's good. Let's head on out of town. 
Goodbye, police station. See you maybe in a week. Or maybe we'll come back in a big hurry. We'll have to see. So we're going to head right over to the other side of town. It's it's totally empty. Um, and once we get out of town, I'm going to be in a new territory. I'm going to have to take it slow. I, I think we're probably not going to stop to take out zombies. Um, we're going to try to keep going unless... Unless we find a place we want to sleep. It's it's already uh, 10 a.m., so we're getting out a little later than I'd kind of hoped, but... Um, but that's okay. I think we're not planning to go that far today. We're just planning to, you know, start our journey, basically. Okay, so we're coming past the uh, subdivisions here. And yeah, I cleared the road here. Now, I did find a trailer here, and I'm inclined to take this a little bit of a ways with us, because ultimately I didn't have much storage in the truck, so... The trailer's... I'm divided about it. I'm a little nervous about it because it reduces the maneuverability of your truck a lot, and it's um, it can um, get you jackknifed and everything. But on the other hand, we are going to need it, and I, I don't want to come all the way back for it. So I think what we'll do is take it as far as we can, and if we have to ditch it temporarily, we will. But I did plan to bring a trailer back. We might even find a trailer in West Point, but there's kind of no telling. So. Okay hey guys, so we're heading out of town and um, yeah, definitely cleared this out, but again, I don't know if stuff's moved back in. We haven't really been this far south in a while. Sorry, far east in a while. Yeah, I don't love this snow on the ground because it kind of makes it tricky to see, but you know, it is the winter time. This is bound to happen. And okay, yeah, so I did come down here. I cleared the road and um, but basically what we're looking for is this major road is going to turn into a side road of some kind. But yeah, the snow does create a lot of visual noise. Makes it a little bit tricky. So yeah, we're going to try to hug the, uh, the river. So I'm going to try to cut, you know, south and east as much as possible. So whenever we're given a choice. Now there is one, I think, farmhouse along the way based on the map. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm not sure what that is. But I'm going to keep going. Oh, we got hungry just there. Let's eat some of our cupcake. Just a little snack. We'll, we'll really just stretch that cupcake out. I didn't bring that much food. I, I was really counting on finding food on the way. Which I'm wondering about now. Yeah, there's zombies here, guys. Okay, so there's a house there, okay. I think I know where this place is. And we're gonna push on, it's coming up to noon. Yeah, so this is the junction, now it's turning into that side road. So I'm gonna say that's a good thing. Yeah, but it's it's fairly dense out here, even in the middle of like, you know, nowhere. This is kind of the middle of nowhere. Um, so, you know, it's clear to me that we're going to have to, like, cut a path, you know? It's not going to be... Ah, there's a police officer there. Potential ammo. Let's get warmed up. Just, just, uh, just shoes and stuff. Okay. Yeah, see, this is where I start to wonder about the logic of having the trailer. Okay, so that might be the the last cutoff before um, this very distant farm. Now there's fair number of zombies out in the wilderness. It's a cold day today. It's um, still below freezing. There it is, guys. The river. Nice. So we're right on the edge now. And... Yeah, it is easy to tell kind of where we are on the map, so that's good. 
It's pretty quiet down here too, which is nice. No, no random zombies it seems. So one could sleep here, I guess, reasonably. I'm kind of divided on what to do when we get where we're going. Is do we, do we stop and like blow the horn, you know, like to try to bring him in and clear him, or do we just kind of go quiet? This I'm not sure. Right. So this is very quiet here. I like this. So this is potentially very campable terrain. Um, but yeah, I would like to sleep indoors if we can. And I think having a, an indoor hide is good. The problem is an indoor hide is going to, you know, there's going to be zombies. So um, so we're kind of, there's a long stretch. Oh, look at that. Turned over car. Um, now, part of me was tempted to process Rex here. Set on the ground. Hunting knife? A body with a hunt. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Just so that we clear clear space, basically. Because if I have to come back in a hurry, I don't have to deal with this thing. Uh, yeah, the scrap metal is valuable if you're talking about building stuff. Okay, never mind. Let's hit the road. Yes, if we have space on the way back, I can pick it up. So 1.30, the day is progressing. And we need to save energy and time to do um, to clear whatever building we're going to end up in. So okay, so and I think we're turning south again. And at the bottom of this leg, there's oh look at this. Yeah, so this is a bit of a problem. Clearing that's going to be a problem. Anyway, let's get rid of these guys so they're not on the road. Patience on the move there. Okay. So, just go take a quick look. It'd be great if we could move this thing on its own. There it is. Nice. Oh, wow. Now, this is going to be tricky to get off the road, but we can try. This thing's got a lot of horsepower. Sweet. Yeah, let's just quickly check the trunk. It's kind of nice. A little something. Lollipop, definitely take that. Okay, we've got the key for this thing too. Nice. Um, cool. All right, cleared. It's another uh, landmark. So now we gotta go clear that uh, house. Cause yeah, it looks like that's the place we're gonna stay. And hopefully it's not too busy. It, it's really isolated, so it may well be a comfy place. But yeah, the distance to West Point is actually quite a bit longer than I thought. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, a little nerve-wracking, that. This is why I brought the pistol. Okay, we got a problem there. I don't, my, I don't have my ammo on me, realized. Oh, there's one coming this way. This isn't good. Oh, 
Oh gosh, guys, it's dense. We got problems here. Good guys. A lot of zombies here. It's like a giant farm or something. Okay, let's, let's eat the lollipop and try to walk these things away from our. There's lots, guys. Lousy with them. Look at this. What are these people doing here? Gosh. Didn't want, wasn't well thought out. I didn't think I'd run into them here. Dude, like a mini burn. chill. Go up here and relax. That's really dense. I'll sit and wait. Gotta calm down a bit. That was really intense. A little bit tired. Uh, let's eat some vitamins. Hopefully lost them. Okay. Let's get right rested though. So 4.30, I think taking out that large group is not the strategy. We want to go try to... There's my car. Try to check the farm. I don't know what's there. So yeah, I mean, just clearing this farm so we have a base of ops is kind of, looks like it's gonna be a lot of work. And this was where you get into trouble having the trailer. Because if you, if you have to do a U-turn, it may not be that easy. Okay, let's do a couple here. Okay, I'm kind of past doing digital watches. Let's see what's here. There's a building here, I think. Wow, it's really grown up. I don't even think we can park the car there. This is the thing about it being four months later is that the world is pretty overgrown. I'm really hoping that that was the main group out by the, the road and it's quiet back here. I'm just hoping at this point. I don't even know what's back here. It's, it's actually quite a walk by the looks of it. Gee, this is very dangerous because we can't effectively um, get the car in here. So I'm gonna have to carry my stuff back. I probably just have to go to the car and get the basics. I even know it's back here. I'm really hoping there's a house. Oh yes, there's a house. Let's see what the story is. The type of zombies we're dealing with. Now, I really hope we don't set off the alarm. Oh, it's like a whole little complex here. Cabins and such. Nice. We'll take a look at the little cabin first. 
It's just a little storage shed. Interesting. Nails. Pipe. Yeah, like I don't see us as like getting a car down here, so. It's a wee bit dank. Oh, really? That's great. And what, oh, there's one more window. Good. Take a look around the back. Guys. So, yeah, not much really to speak of, but... Anyway, we opened it up. Let's go check the main house. Let's hope there's a bed here. I mean, there's just no, no telling that there's a bed actually here. But so far, it's pretty quiet. Like maybe for some reason, all the zombies like wandered out to the road. Well, it's 1800. <laughs> I guess we're not sleeping here. Let's go. It looks like we're going to have to run through probably some of those zombies. That's probably going to draw them all in from the road. So we may have just completely blown that spot. Or not. I don't know. Is it far enough away? But anyway, I don't think we can hang around tonight to find out. I think we have to use our remaining energy to go find a campsite, which means I'm going to go back up the uh, back up the road whence we came. And we'll see. If there's, yeah, look at them go. Well, we cleared the road at least. Let's just wait. I'm hoping that they all I mean, I do eventually want to clear that out because, uh, on the other hand, it's so far off the road that... Oh, here he goes. Deal with this one. Okay, we gotta go. At least we can do a U-turn here. Yeah, it's almost 1900. Um, I would like to be in a more safe spot at this point in the evening, so let's pull back. I'm going to go up a fair bit because... Because, because... Yeah, I'd like to be able to see... There's the river I can see. Okay, good. So let's... I want to get real close to the river, so at least we know they can't come from one side. Here's where we did the... Yeah, we did the ambulance. Let's turn it around here. See, this is the jackknife problem. Look at this. There it is. Okay. Okay, this is it, guys. Let's set up camp. Um, what am I taking? Uh, the tent kit. Let's take the food. Let's take the tools. Let's walk it in. It's already getting dark, guys. Look at this. So what I have to do is I at least have to chop down a tree, I think, so that we have... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's safe to sleep over here without really knowing, but let's do it. Let's, let's put these down. And let's uh, put up a tent, not on the snow. And let's go get um, those logs. And I guess we're making our fire. Let's take our two logs. I'm gonna keep the fire running all night. Let's take a few twigs. And I really hope that, actually now that I'm thinking about it, it might've been unwise to sleep so close to that. Um, 
mini event because, yeah. So how do I create a campfire again? Um, oh, campfire kit. Build the fire. Okay, let's not burn our stuff, but we want it to be close to the tent. I guess let's do that. And I'll move our stuff. Let's take the uh, the axe. We'll cut a tree down. Let's take a look at this first of all. What, what's the story on it? Add fuel. We can add twigs. Check the fire. Campfire info. Zero minutes. Really? I needed two logs just to make the campfire kit. I should have done that ahead of time. Darn. Let's cut this down. See, we're still warm. That's the thing that's crazy. It's 26 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's well below zero, but uh, yeah, we're still warm, so. Add the logs. Okay, let's add a twig. And let's go, um, I guess let's light it up. Let's check the campfire. Eight hours, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm still gonna just to be safe, cut another tree down. So that we've got I want to replenish our log supply because yeah tomorrow night we might be doing the exact same thing okay let's put one log in the fire just so it's maxed add a log okay the info 12 hours that mm, let's do one more Just to be 100%. 16 hour, nice. I'll cut, I'll cut another down. Getting tired here, guys, look at this. Okay, let's, let's go, um, actually, I should make another campfire kit now, so it's done. Can I do it? Yes. That's good. And I guess, um, let's cut one more down. Wow. Exhaustion. There it is. Let's take these logs back to the truck. Yeah, so right away I'm saying that I'm glad we came as prepared as we did. Like, it's already been unexpectedly difficult. I expect it to be really, really empty in this part of the, the map, so... Okay, campfire materials. And I guess we'll drop the logs in and tomorrow we may have to dump them on the road if it's too much. Ooh, the condition on the hand axe isn't great. Gee, that really busted it up. I should have taken two hand axes. Again, learning experience. Um, so 2100. Um, part of me is wondering if I should try my hand at fishing. It's the time for it. Let's just try it. Let's take um, the fishing rod. Take the fishing tackle. Let's try fishing. Okay guys, so it's 2300 and I don't think we caught anything yet, so that's a shame. Um, anyway, we tried. So let's, we're gonna eat some of our supplies and uh, yeah, I suppose I could have tried it with a worm, but Let's eat something. Let's eat, um... Can we cook it? Never tried this before, but... Let's try cooking it. Can we, um... Campfire, what happens if we put it in? doesn't really heat up or anything. Oh, it gets warm. Getting warm, but it doesn't need to cook. It's already cooked. Okay, let's just drink it warm. What possessed me to bring mushroom soup? I don't know, but anyway, it took away the hunger. So let's call that a good thing. And I think what we're gonna do guys is hit the sack. We've got a little bit of water. 
that's the other thing I didn't bring is a pot to purify water. I was really unprepared this time, but I did bring two extra bleach bottles of water, but I really did not expect to be camping, you know. I expected to be sleeping in a house and having toilet water and stuff, so. Oh, we're already hungry again? That's crazy. Let's eat a, a tin of corned beef. Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat half of it. We'll sleep the other half. Get eat in the morning. That, that's got to do it for us. Okay, guys, so here we go. Um, we've got plenty of time in the fire, 13 hours, so let's sleep until... Yeah, we're going to get up again at... Um, let's get up at 8. So Because we definitely want daylight. Okay, hey guys, here we go. We're sleeping. Oh, why can't... Okay, sleep. Yeah. Yeah. There it is, guys. Um, Alright. Awesome. Waking up in the morning on the 1st of February. Uh, all in all, four, four hours left in the fire. All in all, a good good evening. Uh, I think we're fresh and ready for the next day. We've got, yeah, a little bit of water left, so that's good. And we're going to pack up and hit the road. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been a huge pleasure, and I'll catch you next time.